I don't want to be like, you know, why'd you put that on your skin? But... Uh, which is it's gang, 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 gang. Moisturizing, and then you have your niacinamide. Word, uh, word, 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 word. Cues, right? I mean, the one end likes oil substances, the tail, mm. and the. So welcome to Valencia Skincare. If you want bright skin, hydro skin, glowing skin, you're in the right channel and you're welcome to my laboratory. <laughs> Today it's all about plants because you know Valentine's Day which is only around the corner so <laughs> I don't have any scientific props around. I'm, I apologize. <laughs> Guys, I have been MIA on YouTube for so long. I've missed you all. I've got beautiful, beautiful new subscribers. I can't wait to get to know you guys. And I'm so excited to start releasing amazing videos again on YouTube. But I took a break because I just sort of needed like a mental break. And I definitely recommend that for everybody. Taking a mental break away from social media, be it YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever social platform you're on. I recommend taking a social break. Just sort of do a bit of self-care, relaxing, spend time with your friends or family if you can. Or just yourself in general. Just to, you know, get to just get to love yourself. Oh, you yeah. already see my yellow mug. So if you're new to my channel, thank you for joining us. And if you're returning to my channel, thank you for joining us, okay? So on Valentine's skincare, I do something called Science Reacts Moi, reacting to other people's um, skincare routine. That's the famous yellow mug. So when you see this yellow mug, baby, take a sip because it's about to get juicy. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm about to spill all kinds of tea. Today I'm reacting to James Wells' Happy Bizarre Go to Bed With Me nighttime routine. I love James. He's, like, he's the kind of guy that... Like, if I knew him in person, like, I wouldn't be mad. Even if he made me angry, I would never be angry because his voice is so soothing and it's so soft and gentle and so sweet. And he's absolutely, absolutely, I think he's a fabulous person, gorgeous person. Okay, that's enough talking for me. Let's get right into James's video. So, go grab your cup of tea, coffee, whatever you like to drink, girl. Sip, sip, and get right into his reaction video, okay? Mmm. Mm. So of course a cleansing balm or a cleansing oil for me is the best way to really really just melt everything yeah. away and clear it off before I go in and cleanse my skin. So this is the Deviant Skincare I, Cleansing I like that product. It's really really As nice. I wouldn't say it's one of the best cleansing balms I've used but it's probably in my top five. What I really like is it's so packed with like really nice collection of oils. Hemp seed oil, blueberry oil. Um, so if you're using a cleansing balm or a cleansing oil, they sort of work in the same way. Right, whereby the ingredients include a really solid oil component, right, combined with an emulsifier or a surfactant. Emulsifier surfactants are what we call double-ended molecules, right? I mean, the one end likes oil substances, the tail, and the other end likes water substances, the head. So then they have oily substances dissolve in water. Right. Let's look at the ingredient list, right? What I really love about the collection, the combination of all these oils, is that they're really rich in leninoic fatty acids, right? And not as much as oleic fatty acids. You know why that's really, really good? Because it makes it really, really beneficial for all skin types. And also really, really even more beneficial for acne prone skin. So it's really exciting to have a product such as a cleansing balm that's really good for acne prone skin, right? That's going to be nice and gentle on your skin. Mm -hmm. it. There's going to be not many mm -hmm. actives, I'm not going to be exfoliating, no retinoids, anything to You see, I like this. I like what he just mentioned there. I do that as well myself. Not every day I use active ingredients on my skin. Not every day I use really sort of retinoids on my skin. I just, there are certain wigs where my skin's are great and I don't need to use certain actives and I just do moisturizing like cleanser moisturizer sunscreen and you just have the basic skincare routine for certain weeks right so you don't always have to follow certain trends every time and you don't have to use actives every single week for your skin you know so whilst my skin recovers and repairs so my next product is another cleanser this yes i, I love that cleanser, cleanser guys that's a good cleanser this is a ph balanced mm -hmm. cleanser it has some lovely humectants and moisturizing ingredients in to uh... so let's look at the ingredient list and see what we have okay so one thing i really really love about this master hem cleanser is that it's really it's formulated with really nice gentle ingredients they're not going to overly strip your skin of natural oils but they're also it's going to but it's going to clean your skin and keep it hydrated right which is really vital and important for the skin hydration it's got really nice gentle surfactants such as cocoa betaine so it's really nice and gentle and it's also going to help you retain that vital hydration it really makes your skin feel really soft and supple and plumped and just gentle it is really really nice yeah so you've got hydration ingredients like glycerin sodium pca 
and you've got really nice moisturizing ingredients such as sweet almond oil hemp seed oil really really nice packed to nice hydration ingredients and also i love it because i'm combination skin oh just like james oh 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 just a basic skincare routine basically one thing i do do after i rinse away my cleanser is i take a washcloth and i just kind of like if i got cleanser in my hairline i just pat that away because especially my beard as well any left on cleanser seems to irritate my skin when it dries down so I tend to just remove that very gently so onto damp skin, I'm gonna go in with my Advanced Stay On Radiance Dual Essence from COSRX. I do this on damp skin because the idea is that when your skin is damp, your skin can kind of accept ingredients better into the skin. But really, I just like the way doing a full uh, skincare routine onto slightly damp skin makes my skin mm -hmm. look. It gives it this kind of like really dewy, plump, hydrated look. What I love about this product is the dual side. So you have your uh, snail mucin in here, um, which is it's gang, 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 gang. moisturizing, and then you have your niacinamide. Word, uh, word, word, word. Niacinamide for me is one of the best ingredients word. I've ever used in my whole life because it just does so many different things. But for me, it's about controlling the sebum production, regulating it, but can, it can also help with um, barrier repair as well. I forgot to say, I do usually do my neck and all the way down to below. I always recommend this. Um, I apply products into my skin when it's the damp of it because it's really going work. to allow the products to absorb better. And also, when your skin is damp, it has better affinity for the skincare ingredients that are in the product, right? If I've ever seen a dermatologist or an esthetician or had a facial or anything like that, and the answer is no, because it scares me a little bit. Um, I was scared to go to a dermatologist in case they tell me to stop using too much skincare because then I won't have a job. But then I'm also scared to- If you've never used snail mucin before, or you haven't used any product that contains snail mucin, right? Snail mucin has a really nice hydration effect on the skin, right? It's really, really good for the skin. Alongside its hydration properties, snail mucin has really high levels of antioxidants, right? That help with inflammation and also with healthy collagen production the skin. I get a facial because I don't think I'd be able to relax through it. I think I'd be so interested in what they're using. I want to know. I'd want them to talk me through everything and I just don't feel like it'd be a nice relaxing experience for me. That sounds really weird. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna re-dampen my skin because I like to do a whole routine damp yeah. and usually when I'm not filming I just leave my skin damp after a cleanser oh. and then I'll go into every step and then I'll spray my skin <laughs> before moisturizer and apply moisturizer but because I'm filming it takes a bit longer I don't know I'm laughing <laughs> between each step with the Cosrx Centella water alcohol free toner my next product is the even prime barrier repair serum um, this just has some like uh, essential fatty acids, ceramides, what people consider the building blocks of your skin. So when my skin is... I do recommend a dermatological visit because it's nice just to get your skin checked, you know? <laughs> kind of like impaired after experimenting a bit too much. I do tend to go completely fragrance free. I cut out all the mm -hmm. actives. I think a lot... But if you look at ingredients, it's really nice and cool on the skin and hydrate. So you have butylene glycol, betaine, panthenol, sodium hyaluronate. So what you're gonna do is you're going to attract and bind to wash and molecules and bring it into the skin to really hydrate the skin. People think I love fragrance from my videos, but you know, I'm not against it. I just know there's a time and place for it. But this serum is just so nice and light. It, um, it's like nourishing and moisturizing enough for my cheeks, but it's light enough for me to use on my T-zone and layer with other products without it being heavy and greasy and oily. The serum stage is a stage where I would invest a little bit of money as well. I think that serum is about $40, maybe a little bit less. But for me, that's the one stage where I could have a very affordable cleanser, a very affordable moisturizer. Never tried this product personally, but let's look at the ingredient list. First thing that we see here, right, is a lot of hydration ingredients. Oh, I love the word hydrate. I just love my skin staying hydrated. <laughs> hydration ingredients like we see here with plump the skin to minimize temporarily the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. I'm not sure if you watched my earlier video yet, but if you haven't, click up after this to give it a watch. I talk, I go in depth and I talk about their use, all this use of glycerin and other hydration ingredients that help with fine lines and wrinkles and how it temporarily minimizes the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, right? So these ingredients are the main bug compounds that are found in Centella, which is really helps with the healing of your skin, supports your skin's barrier, and also provides a lot of anti-inflammatory benefits. 
to it. It's really good serum. Okay, okay. This is going on my list. This is going on my list. <laughs> going on my list. Um, stage where I feel like I can get all my treatments. For me, it really, really makes a difference um, to the look on, and feel of my skin. So again, I want that glowy, dewy mm. look, so I'm going to spray this um, Centella water again, um, which is again just water with Centella, so it's kind of like soothing and calming. My next serum is the Cosrx Pure Fit Seeker Serum. This is really just to calm down any redness and irritation and inflammation. One, two, three, that's a bit more than I need. A super lightweight serum that kind of just calms down any irritation. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, again, is re- I always say this when people ask me for like skincare advice or anything like that or like in the comments like my skin is irritated, my skin is irritated or it's my anything's getting worse, this isn't working, this active isn't working. A basic hydration cleanser, basic hydration moisturizer, sunscreen. Those three things, if you can get the basic things right and your skin loves it, there's no need for you to pack it filled with all these other actives that your skin probably doesn't need or your skin is freaking out you know from so i think if your basic skincare routine is working for you 100 percent continue with your basic skincare routine and this is i love sheet masking i used to do it <laughs> every single day um but i think the more you use sheet masks the more you realize how much waste comes with a sheet mask and i'm not I'm not like the most environmentally conscious person. Like I'm now, I'm trying to do like little but enough <laughs> when it comes to saving our planet. So I didn't sheet mask for the longest time, and then I saw this this like silicone occlusive layer that just traps in all that hydration, all your skincare, and when you take it off, you're left with that same dewy glow that you get from sheet masks. And what's great about this one is once it's done, you take it off, you rinse it with your normal cleanser and then your skin is left glowy and you can reuse it and reuse 100%. it. 100%. Use it for as long as you live. So yeah, I'm gonna give myself 10 minutes and then I'll be back. Okay, it's been 10 minutes, let's take this off. Whew. See, I just love like that bit of a glow. And what I love about all the products I'm using is they're hydrating, but they're Absolutely. not greasy and heavy. I love So, damp and skin again. We love Centella, we love Centella in the house. This is Cosrx, I love Cosrx. I feel we like love they're a more too. modern take on like CeraVe. <laughs> this is the Moisture Power Enriched Cream. This is just a nice hydrating, occlusive layer to help track Moisturizer. everything in. I think like with the rise of in the last two years and kind of like the rise of CeraVe being one of the best selling skincare. The ingredients in the moisturizer. So we have hydrating ingredients. Mm, it's coconut oil, interesting. There's panthenol. Sodium hyaluronate, glycerin. There's some nice ingredients for a barrier. So you have ceramides. Other okay. brands have noticed that people do often just want simplicity within their skincare. And I think in drugstores, you really do find those simple but effective products at a good price as well. I think a lot of people kind of like look down on drugstore products because they're affordable, but I think we have to get over this idea that expensive skincare is better and that more affordable skincare. You don't need to spend loads of money on skincare. There are loads of really nice drugstore products that are really good for the skin, that are really beneficial for the skin, and they're affordable while we're talking 14 euro, 10 euro, 12 euro, 20 euro. That's all. The final product you use is the M Cosmetics Lip Cushion. This is in clear quartz. It's just a lip balm, is all. Okay. <laughs> So I like James. I love James. This isn't something crazy. This is nice to the point. I use products that are targeting his skin concerns. A lot of nice hydrating products, which is really nice, really beautiful. He loves his skin. The way he took care of it, the way he applied the products is really nice. The way that's the way I do it. Really nice and gentle. Really feeling stuff and that whole self-care that I always tell people to do when you're applying your skincare routine. Make sure you take time and just love your skin, love yourself. Just you know, relax. This is a way of kind of winding down after a really long day, and I love it. And I love his skin; it's gorgeous. I love James. I just really want to be friends with James. <laughs> but guys, that's really my reaction. Like James routine. I think I thought it was really nice and gentle. He really, he was really feeling it. You know, I always have you for that. Feel it. Get in the mood. You know, wash your face. Do your skincare routine. Just relax. Light a candle. You know, it's really, really nice. I I spend about 35, 40 minutes on my skincare routine. He spends an hour. An hour is a long time. <laughs> but you know, I think it's really nice that he's doing that. And I think it's really nice 
self-care time that you have to yourself every evening before you go to bed i think it's really nice and it's really going to use some really nice products really, really nice ingredients so i 100 percent approve of his skincare routine nothing crazy today i feel like i should have someone needs to do something crazy so i can just get back in the zone and be like you know why would you put that on your skin but i really love james and congratulations by being recognized for happy's bazaar i think it's a long long overdue recognition and i'm so excited for you i'm so happy for you to be reckon to be part of happy bazaar's go to bed with me and if happy bazaar is looking for anybody i'm here i'm here you know happy bazaar i'm here but i'm excited but this is a really nice routine and i'm excited to share more videos with all my new subscribers and guys that's it for this reaction video and i will see you in my next skincare video thank you very much lovelies Mwah. <laughs>